Baka hindi ka pa handa dito. Ito po si Redmi K70 series. We've got one, two, three phones from Redmi. Na alam na, ang magiging future Poco F6 series. That's right. Hindi ka pa handa kasi kakabili mo ng Poco F5, F5 Pro. If na blown away na kayo kay Poco F5 in terms of the specs and the performance it provides you, and even the camera, wait till you know about the details this our Redmi K70 series, it's gonna totally blow you away. Una una si Redmi K70e. It has a Dimensity 8300 Ultra processor. Ito naman si Redmi K70 Standard Edition. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 na po. Flagship. Poco F6 flagship processor na. And the Pro version, Redmi K70 or F6 Pro siguro in the future, has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. But guys, we're only gonna focus on the Redmi K70 today because it's gonna mega video. Siya. We're gonna have three videos unboxing it all. For now, I am excited to show you the Redmi K70. Let us unbox this beast. Up with the bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo! <laughs> So, naabusan na pa ako ng Redmi K70 unit sa buong Pilipinas. No? Marami na po nauna sa akin. And the only variant left for me is a 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte storage. Okay lang, marami na po tayong tatong. Huh? Look lang. Now, Bins, paano ka nakaka-sure na si Poco F6 to? E di ba last year si Redmi Note 12 Turbo yung Poco F5? Hindi si Redmi K60? Well, since wala pong dumabas na Redmi Note 13 Turbo, at baka si Redmi K70 e si Poco X6 Pro, bato na nga si Poco F6. Redmi, the Demon King, has arrived. Sim, a checker pin. And inside we're getting the manual. Isang poging jelly case. Ganda, ganda na quality. Kaya bibili na to ng videographer ko. Okay. And here's the fo- Wow, ang pogi. Color white ko yung ko. And underneath, finally, ito po yung ko. From 67 watts. Guys, 120 watts na po ang inilagay. The time has come for the 120 watts meta. In mainstream na yan. USB Type-C cable, of course. By the way, don't lose this. Don't use other chargers kasi baka hindi gumana. Ito, sa inyong phone. Kasi usually, tandem sila guys. Now, based on reports sa China, sobrang mabenta daw po si Redmi K70 series. Doble daw po yung kanyang sales doon. What made this so popular? Maybe it could be the design. For us kasi, ang pogi niya. You got that nice frosted back. Ooh. Ang smooth, parang silky smooth yung kanyang back. Although matte finish siya, this is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus back. And look at this, mukhang aluminum yung kanyang body. Yes, this is definitely metal. May mga antenna bands pa dito. Kanyang sides sa wakas, kasi nga plastic lang po si Poco F5. At the picture ni Poco F5, no? Definitely mas lighter po si F5, kasi nga plastic lang po yung kanyang body. This one will give you a much more premium feel, no? Talagang sobrang premium ng kanyang feels. Talagang pang flagship na yung dating niya. Grab Grabbing build quality. Ito parang feeling mo, talaga midrange lang. Kinda feels like a toy. This one feels like a tank. And this one does not have a headphone jack. Si Poco F5 may headphone jack pa. Huh? And the display. Oh my god, ganda ng display niya. Actually, right now, we have done a research. We have compared every phone at this price range. There is no other phone na ganito kaganda yung display in terms of tech, brightness, and pretty much all the features, wala pong tumatapat sa kanya. Well, here it is, no? The display is a 6.67 inch OLED, 120 hertz refresh rate display na merong HDR10+, Dolby Vision, HLG, and the resolution of this display is Quad HD na daw po. Actually, 3K po siya. 3K by 1440. And get this, 4,000 nits of brightness! Pero baka matalo siya ng ibang brand. Si OnePlus ata nang maglalabas siya ng 4,500 nits brightness daw. Pero sa loob, no? Nasa 600 nits of brightness lang po dito. Kapag gumana yung kanyang HDR sa sunlight, siguro mga 1,000 plus lang po yung kanyang nits. Masyado nang OA yung 4,000 nits. Kasi yung ilaw namin dito, 3,000 nits lang. Mas malakas pa sa... Ito na lang ilaw ko. 4,000 nits pala eh. Tapos yung kanyang touch something rate ay umaabot daw ng 2,160 hertz! That really hurts. Masakit talaga. Especially Actually, kapag nalaman mo na ang tunay niyang hertz talaga ay 240 lang sa so normal. Totoo, ito po yung tsura niya. Uh, normal lang po, 240 hertz. Ayan po. Kapag naka-enhanced touch naman siya, enabled, up to 480 hertz po yung kanyang touch sampling rate. Ayan. Those are real numbers. In reality, 480 hertz is actually sobrang ganda nun. Sobrang smooth, sobrang responsive. It's actually great for gaming na. But, it might actually use more of your battery. So, pa, pag di mo kailangan, 240 hertz is actually okay na para sa mga assassin users dyan. Pang tank user na kasi yung 480 hertz. Now, the display looks so good. Para po siyang iPhone, no? Sa harap yan. Definitely does look like an iPhone. At the front, yung shape niya. Although, yung kanyang uh, shape, 
is actually much more rectangular compared to the rounded corners ng iPhone 15 Pro Max. And guys, look at the bezels. Mas malipis pa yung bezels ni Redmi K70 kaysa sa iPhone 15 Pro Max. Also the punch hole, what the? Sobrang laking improvement ang punch hole. Ang liit na masyado. And it even beats out the iPhone 15 Pro Max in terms of overall image quality sa kanyang display. Ito ay comparison na. Di ba? Sinasabi ko ito lagi. Even the Poco F5 could beat the iPhone 15 Pro Max in terms of side-by-side -side sharpness and detail. This is actually the best display sa 20,000 pesos. Actually bought this for 23,000 pesos imported po from AHH Manila. It's actually China ROM. Kung nagbabala kang bilhin to, pwede ka mag-preorder sa kanila. And that's right, meron siyang Google Play Store right here. Madali lang po siya i-download. Just go to here, get apps. Click mo lang yan, search for Google Play Store. Ayan na po, lalabas po siya dyan. Dati pahirapan po yan, no? pero ngayon, madali na pong i-set up ang China ROM. Speaking of China ROM, pula yung may Hyper OS ni Sean, bago po yan ha. Di ko sure kung lalabas to sa Global, Hyper OS. So, ibang-iba na daw po to, no? Uh, dati po, MIUI 14 could be their last version of the MIUI. And now, introducing the Hyper OS that we have here on the Redmi K70, which is a full review ko na ipapakita yung Hyper OS. Gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo yung gist of this. But of course, you wanna know more about the performance. Ito na po. The Redmi K70 or Basi Poco F6 ay meron Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Pro that is a 4 nanometer chipset to give you a glimpse of the performance ito po yung kaya niyang gawin 1.6 million points and to benchmark incredible performance what and of course ipakita ko na gets Genshin Impact sa Genshin Impact guys high settings smooth na smooth po siya. Although nag-warm siya ng konti, no? nag-warm talaga siya, but it's not 50 degrees warm. Nasa 44 degrees lang, 45 degrees Celsius. Mas may lagnat pa siya kaysa may lagnat. It actually depends on how you look at it. No? Pwede siyang mainit, or it could be your crush. Sobrang hot. Okay na okay. But yes, compared to most mid-range phones, ang smooth po niya, very little frame drops, it plays like butter. Parang PC experience po with this phone. And of course, kapag ka nag-Facebook ka lang, nag swipe sa interface. Guys, no hiccups at all. Ang smooth-smooth po niya. This definitely is a flagship device na po. A true flagship killer. Also, napansin namin, no, ang ganda talaga ng graphics sa Genshin Impact. Maybe it's all because of that impressive display. Grabe yung display niya, guys. Also, yung kanyang punch hole, napakaliit. Halos hindi mo kalata when you're playing games here. And videos on YouTube just look so stunning. Grabe yung detail. Right now, if you're looking for a phone na matindi yung kanyang display, kung gusto nyo manood ng mga movies sa inyong smartphone na pang you definitely should get the Redmi K70 or the Poco F6. Wait lang, Vince. Gusto, gusto ko na malaman yung sa Hyper OS. No? Oh, well, kaya sa inyo. Parang konti lang. I'll just show you two things na bago dito. Kapag nag-charge ka, hindi na siya yung parang bilog na lalabas sa gitna na may animation. No. Meron siya yung parang katulad sa iPhone, yung parang dynamic island na lalabas dun sa kanyang taas, which will convert the punch hole into parang straight na black na ganyan na bar, revealing the charging details. No? How fast the charging is, ilan yung percentage ng charge mo, even notifications will show up here. That's one. The other one is yung sa picture, katulad kay iOS to ha. Kapag pumunta ka sa gallery, you just took your photo and di mo na gusto yung background mo, you can actually replace your background just by holding your photo at may lalabas na extra setting dito. You know, you know meron siyang animation dyan na parang kinat out ka na niya. And then you just click on the three dots, tapos change background and Ayun po. have a selection of other backgrounds which you can play around with, which is quite magical for me, no? Nakakatawa siya. Same kay iPhone, no? So, before kasi parang walang ganito si Android. Nice feature to have. Madalas kasi nagka out ng sarili ko sa background, especially on my thumbnails. Pero Beans, kamusta naman yung camera? Actually, na-try na namin lahat. K70e, standard, and the pro version. And this is what it looks like. Before I show you the comparison, ito mo na yung Itura, by itself. Napansin namin, ang ganda talaga niya. Nang malakas yung dating niya, grabe yung details, grabe yung dynamic range. The image quality is very impressive. But, napansin namin, medyo saturated po siya. The colors are medyo enhanced talaga. Just like the Poco F5. Napansin niyo si Poco F5, talagang medyo punchy yung colors. Medyo matindi yung kanyang contrast. But then again, if you actually like what you're seeing with the Redmi K70, why not, no? Actually, okay na rin siya for me. Yung nga lang, enhanced na po siya. Parang may ginagawa na po yung image processing to enhance the, the picture para pang Instagram siya agad o pang upload siya agad sa social media. Pero kasi alam mo na yung mga professional na katulad natin, no? We want yung parang flat, mas flat yung kanyang color, mas more room to edit sa post. Yan yung kailangan natin. Which you will get sa Redmi K70 Pro. Oh, by the way, yung video is ganito yung tura niya. The video actually has HDR when you record it, pero up to 4K 30 frames per second din. Pero pag walang HDR, guys, umaabot siya ng 4K 60 frames per second, which is 
very impressive. Kailangan mo to kapag ka gusto mo yung mga cinematic na mga videos. If you want a slow-mo, you actually need 4K 60 frames per second so that you have more data during post. Wait, wait, nakalimutan ko sabihin yung kanya specs. 50 megapixel main camera pala to, ultra camera. Meron siyang 8MP ultra wide angle lens and 2MP macro lens. And guess what? Meron pa siyang 8K 24 frames per second para kapag pumasok ka sa Netflix. Pero ito yung tura ng 8K 24 frames per second video. Let's see. Choppy ba siya? Medyo choppy po siya. Ayan, so medyo choppy siya. Let's play it out. Well, actually, much improved yung 8K resolution this time compared to before, before talaga sobrang choppy, sobrang unusable ang 8K niyan. But now, it actually looks like a cinematic camera. Wow! Very cinematic. Even the color is cinematic. It means kaya na nung processor. Aside from the pro mode ng photo, which lets you tweak some more settings to get more creativity out of your camera, meron din siyang pro mode for the video, which is called the director mode, which is parang black magic app lang. Eh, libre din yun. Actually, madalas kami gumagamit ng black magic app sa studio namin for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But this one lets you have it by default sa camera app. No, may histogram, my volume levels, and you even got the white balancing, shutter speed, autofocusing, wedding manual, which will turn your phone into a very versatile, powerful video camera. I bought this one terabyte version for 30,000 pesos kay AHH Manila. Pero kanyang 12 to 5, 6, ay baka nasa 23, I'm not sure. Check yun na lang sa FB page nila. And that is it for now for the Redmi K70 series. Next is the Pro version and the E version. E for economy class. Also, by the way, let me know guys in the comments below what you want to know sa Redmi K70, 70 Pro, and 70E para we can answer sa upcoming videos. Natin. And of course, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming Redmi K-series videos. Upload si Benz and you're watching Unbox Series. Ooh.